religion has actually convinced people that there's an invisible man <laughs> living in the sky who watches everything you do every minute of every day. And the invisible man has a special list of ten things he does not want you to do. And if you do any of these ten things, he has a special place full of fire and smoke and burning and torture and anguish where he will send you to live and suffer and burn and choke and scream and cry forever and ever till the end of time. But he loves you. <laughs> Suppose your prayers aren't answered. What do you say? Well, it's God's will. Thy will be done. Fine. But if it's God's will and he's going to do what he wants to anyway, why the fuck bother praying in the first place? <laughs> Seems like a big waste of time to me. Couldn't you just skip the praying part and go right to his will? It's all very confusing. He created the world in what? Six days. Five billion years ago. Don't you think by now he's moved on to another project? <laughs> Do you ever think we're just some he threw together for his third grade science fair in the first place? He created us in his own image, and he was just thinking, oh, it's due tomorrow. All right, give me some styrofoam and people. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it this way. If there is a God, if there is a God, may he strike this audience dead. <laughs> See, nothing happened. Nothing happened. Everybody's okay. 